What's up, people? This is Double Eight Forward, and today I'm gonna make my own custom Mohawk helmet. So, in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what you need to make a Mohawk helmet, like you saw in the video earlier. And yeah, and I'm gonna show you guys the things that we need to make this helmet. So, first of all, you need to make a Mohawk for this. I've got some foams. This is actually the bottom part of the shoes. These are the soles of the shoes, but it works perfectly. You need some scissors. You need some dendrite. For sh you know, like uh, this is uh, the type of glue that uh, is used to stick uh, shoes. I don't know. Uh, and you need some uh, like reflective type of type of tape. This is optional. Uh, you don't need this uh, if you don't want to use it. And uh, you need some uh, black marker so that you can uh, see where you want to cut. And of course you need some double sided tape. And just a sheet of paper so that you can calculate the length. And of course the main part you need a helmet. Uh, I actually just bought this helmet. It's a MRC helmet. Uh, full face. And I have actually quite did a just modified this with stickers as you can see the monster and also this was a clean visor now it's full black so yeah these are the things that you need to get started with making your own mohawk and this is my guitar Woo! okay the first step that you need to do now is that you need to measure the length of the helmet like uh, the curve you need to measure exactly the curve through the piece of paper so that you can know what kind of uh, curve that you are dealing with. So, yeah, yeah, first measure this curve and then I'll show you what I did with this sheet of paper. Yeah, I've just cut this piece of paper and also I forgot one thing. You also need sandpaper, you know. So, yeah, I've just cut this piece of paper just to match with the curve and it fits pretty well. So right now my hand is really shaking, and also you need to be careful that uh, you also you need to know that uh, you gotta pull out the visor, so that you gotta keep a little bit of distance, a centimeter of distance. So you gotta start from about right over here, not there, so that it cannot uh, be in touch with the mohawk. So yeah, so this is the first step. Just do this. Yeah. So now I'm just marking the curve on the foam with this piece of paper so let me just uh, draw the line of this curve uh, so yeah I've just drawn a line here I don't think you can see it but uh, I can see this so now I'm just gonna have to uh, cut this straight cut this out and also I forgot that you also need spray Ugh, I keep forgetting all of things so that you can you so that you can spray on this because you don't want you don't want it to look like this you know you want it to look like a matte black like the helmet so yeah just wanted to show you guys this and I'll just do and after causing this video I'll show you guys how it looks like so yeah a quick info I've just uh, <coughs> drawn the shape of the mohawk exactly on this foam because I thought that it'd be uh, pretty hard because if I cannot get the shape right so I decided to just draw the mohawk first and then decided to cut it. So yeah, this is how I draw it. And I did not use any like uh, tools or any scales or like anything. So I just did this myself using my own creativity. So yeah, I hope you can use all. So I hope you will also use yours to make. So I want this kind of shape. So let's see how it goes. So yeah, this is what it looked like. It looks cool, it looks perfect. And if when you put on a on this helmet, let's just open the visor and when you just align this perfectly in here, it looks cool. Yeah. I'm just holding it with one I'm just holding it with one hand so it's just moving. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So now after we cut this <coughs> now the next process will be i think just to 
have some uh, support on this region so what you need to do is just exactly cut in this shape just another piece of foam take another piece of foam and just cut in this small shape so I'll just show you after cutting this small piece so you need two pieces from this one for this side and, not, and another for this side so I'll just be back after cutting those two pieces yeah so as you guys can see I've just cut these two pieces I've just cut these two pieces that are gonna go and stick on to this each side like uh, one goes where is this uh, this one goes over here like this and you just turn it and this one goes over over here so uh, you got so you have a thick bottom now so now this is where the this uh, dendrite kicks in so that you gotta glue this side and uh, this side but uh, before you do that uh, I suggest that uh, you just uh, you know like uh, chisel this with sandpaper use, uh, using this sandpaper so that you can smooth the rough edges of this of all these three so that uh, you won't have any problems and just <coughs> make sure that uh, this side uh, is a little bit little bit uh, so this side is a little bit flatter so that you need to stick this with a double sided tape so you don't want this to be like round you want this uh, down edge to be a little bit flat all these three so yeah I'll just uh, uh, smooth them uh, so I'll just smooth these uh, three pieces with the sandpaper and I'll just show you what it looks like so yeah just uh, smooth this out with a uh, sandpaper I don't think you can uh, see much of a difference in the video but yeah it looks uh, a little bit smoother now so yeah now the now the next step is uh, very important because you need to glue this onto them like this mohawk piece so before you do that make sure that everything is okay there's a little bit gap in front here ah, slipping the, there's a little bit gap in front just check everything before you uh, just glue this so that it uh, fits perfectly so if you need to cut something you can cut it out so yeah now uh, I'll just uh, check whether everything is okay or not and the next step is to put glue to this side to these uh, pieces on each of this side so yeah just uh, I uh, use this I don't know what the hell is this uh, well this is just a uh, dendrite so yeah uh, so as you guys can see I've just glued this uh, piece on both sides and I think it needs about 20 minutes I think 20 to 25 minutes just to dry so I'll just leave this over here in the sun and yeah it's pretty hot out here <laughs> So, <coughs> yeah, after this, and I think I'll just be spraying this one. So, yeah. Uh, so, while the top part, the top part of the mohawk dries, I've also got to set another mohawk on this side. So, from this here to here, I just got to set up the mohawk again. So, yeah, until that dries, I'm just going to... Do exactly the same process with the paper, just uh, measuring the curves, and also same thing with the foam. And yeah, I'll just keep doing that until that dries. Okay, so the glue has finally dried up, as you can see now. So now I'm again gonna smooth with the sandpaper so that uh, I can have a smooth edges. So yeah, so far it's going good. Okay, so now it's time for this double tape and I've just made a mark over here and I have uh, so now I need to stick this in the bottom so yeah now I'll just cut this double side tape and stick in this bottom and uh, let's see if it goes well or not so yeah guys now I've uh, as you can see I've uh, stuck the double sided tape so that uh, when I spray the white line cannot be seen uh, and so far it's going great now 
I'm about to spray this mohawk with the spray. Uh, this is matte black, if you don't know, and shake well before use. So uh, I decided. Uh, so I wanted to do this spraying outside, but uh, there's too much wind, so I had to do it inside. Uh, and as you can see, I've got wooden planks on uh, bottom and on at the back. So yeah, I think we're good to go. It's done. Ah! Look at the carpet. Shit. Uh, okay, so now that is done. Now I'm just gonna dry this up in the sun and within about I think 45 minutes I think it will dry because it's pretty <coughs> hot out there so yeah now and uh, look at my hands uh, woo, so yeah and uh, when uh, this dries up and I will just stick this into to the helmet and let's see what it looks like so this is what it looks like so I've got the first mohawk here and the second mohawk here so yeah you can see it so this is my own made mohawk self-made so so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video subscribe and share if this was useful and this looks damn sexy so this is double it forward and i will catch you guys on the next video boom